Hello, everyone. I hope you all are um, hanging in there on this really hot day. <laughs> it was really hot here in Maine. I don't know if it was hot where you all are, um, but it's, uh, yeah, it was hot. <laughs> so let's see. I wanted to do a little uh, meditation for the bi-monthly circle of light meditation on emotions and just um, clearing heavy emotions. So even though it's summer and a lot of us, myself included, are out, you know, doing stuff, we're being, you know, spending as much time outside as possible, swimming, hiking, you know, we're, we've been spending a lot of time in the water just because it's been, it's been so hot. Um, you know what? And speaking of that, I need to turn my fan on. So I'm going to go do that right now. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I don't normally use air conditioning unless I have to. And so I'm not using AC. I use, I use it during the day when it gets really hot sometimes, especially if I'm in here with clients. But when I don't have to at night, it, uh, it cools off. But I definitely need a fan. So, all right. Um, so, yeah. So even though, when, you know, it's summertime and it can be interesting. Summer can be an interesting time because... I think um, for some people, you know, a lot of us here in Maine in this colder climate, you know, want to be outside as much as we can, doing as many things as we can do. And it's a happy time for most of us. You know, I love summer, but not for everyone. Sometimes it can make us feel even more alone and more, um, you know, uh, just disconnected when we, when we think we're supposed to be happy and we're supposed to be joyful, but we're not feeling that way. So that can be, you know, really confusing to have that be our experience, right? Um, it's so when it's, you know, when it's winter and it's cold and, and people aren't outside as much, it's like, okay, when we feel that way, it kind of feels like it's okay. Um, so I think, you know, the other thing with summer is that we're often out and we're around a lot of people and we're at, you know, barbecues and different outdoor sort of gatherings, which can be exhausting for people who are naturally introverted. Really important for us to kind of go inward and recharge and um, take time to kind of process how we're feeling. So when we're doing out, out, outward stuff all the time, go, 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 it can be, um, we can feel depleted. It's like the yang and the yin. We don't want too much of either. We want to balance, right? So one of the things that we can do is when we're feeling off, and especially if we're, you know, um, noticing other people seem to be feel, having a good time, but we're kind of not feel, have, feeling like everything's amazing and great. Sometimes we can push those emotions away. You know, we're like, well, I'm supposed to feel good. So I'm just going to force myself to feel good, even though I don't feel good. And what happens is we start, our emotions get buried and that works for a little while. Right. And that is something that some of you are probably very familiar with doing for many years, as many of us have done for many years. Um, but eventually those emotions will come out, right? That's, that's just how it works. So instead of pushing the emotions aside and ignoring them and burying them and even getting ourselves sick, sick when they do come out, taking time to really sit with what we're feeling is essential. It's just crucial for our well-being. I do my best um, in the mornings or if I can't you know, get to it in the morning at some point during the day just to sit outside to just take some time to close my eyes, connect with my inner self. Maybe, you know, I'm listening to the birds, I'm connecting in with the sun, with the trees, with the earth, and just clearing my mind. I usually connect in with some sort of divine being that I feel is present and asking for guidance and really just trying to, you know, wipe the slate clean and just be present without thought. And when we do that, sometimes when we do that, there's stuff that comes up. Sometimes it's hard to to even clear the mind because we feel something is you know we feel crappy something doesn't feel right so when that happens you know take the time to look at that that's an opportunity to just close our eyes and just say okay what is here where is this emotion that i'm feeling and and it's what's really cool about this 
is that when we take the time just to notice the emotion, where is it in your body? Um, does it have a color? Does it have a shape? Does it have a temperature? Is it moving? Does it seem to have a message for you, which can be interesting? You know, if the, if the emotion could speak, what would it say? When we do that, what happens is we start to separate from it and not, you know, be identified with it. Like with the anger we may feel, we don't, we're not, we don't need to be consumed by that anger, but we just notice I'm feeling this angry right now, or I'm feeling sad. I don't need to be consumed by the sadness, but I'm, it's a temporary emotion that I can move through. Um, and when we, and then when we take the time to do that, it starts to dissipate, right? And then we can find that space to then really connect in with our higher selves or with some sort of divine guidance there for us to, just by taking the time to notice the emotion. Um, you know, sometimes there's some fear of what will happen if we connect in with our emotions. Some people feel like, is that safe? Am I going to be, am I going to be in a crumpled heap on the floor if I allow myself to feel some of what's really in there? Will I be able to function in my life if I, uh, you know, connect in with some of these deep feelings? Y you know, I believe, yes, that our higher selves are, we're just, we wouldn't have them coming up if they, we weren't, if we weren't ready to deal with them. Um, and sometimes with sickness uh, or other health issues, it's actually a gift because that issue is coming up to be healed. Our body is saying, okay, here's this energy that's stuck in your body. It's time to, you know, release it. It's time to let it just you know, feel it when it gets to a place where it's manifesting in some form of illness, it's trying to be released out of our bodies. So if we can just, you know, like, there's this great book I always show clients who come in to do hypnotherapy, um, your body speaks your mind, which is, it correlates to different, you know, bodily issues, a heart issue or a throat issue or allergies or autoimmune stuff. And what sort of emotion might be connected always right on every time we look at it it's amazing and then we can do we do some hypnotherapy to try to you know clear that uh, get to the source of that emotion often relationships with others often the inner child often from childhood right and then to you know begin to heal so um this is so important for us in our western societies not numbing ourselves out any longer from the from the feelings such as many of us have been trained to do that to just you know try to try to cope you know watch a lot of tv scroll now it becomes like scroll on our phones right or drink or eat or just you know zone out numb out on something to avoid feeling what's deep within and it works for a little while until it doesn't, right? And that's this is the time when we're really being asked to clear away what's deep, what's deep within. So it can seem like a lot, you know, it can seem like, oh my gosh, this is a lot of work. Like, do I gotta like, you know, sit and do all this inner work on myself? That seems exhausting. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be, right? Let's just start. I just what I recommend is starting one step at a time, one small, you know, bite at a time. And one place to start is just by taking a moment to just notice what you're feeling. You're not trying to fix yourself. You're not trying to heal. You're just noticing. And by in the process of noticing, like I was saying, and really looking at and exploring the emotion, we start to separate from it and it starts to dissipate. And that begins the healing process. So let's do that now, shall we? In a little meditation. Okay, get a little closer to the mic here. So getting comfortable, just taking a moment to close your eyes and begin to take some deep inhales and slow exhales. Bringing in lots of oxygen and then Slowly letting it out, just letting go of the day, letting your body release what it does not belong. I like to do the three-part breath, which is holding at the top of the inhale, 
And then slowly exhaling out to really empty out the lungs. Let's do that one more time. Breathe into the belly, blowing up a balloon in your belly. Allow a wave of air to go up into your heart and lungs and pause here. Feeling this beautiful expansion and then slowly, slowly letting everything deflate as you just exhale out, letting go of anything that doesn't serve you at this time as much as you can. Now just allowing the breath to flow on its own. Just feeling the breath like breathing itself. It's flowing in and it's flowing out. And you become aware of your belly making space for the breath, your chest making space for the breath as the lungs open, as the rib cage opens. And all you're doing is just allowing your breath to do what it does, just becoming aware of this miracle of being alive. Noticing if there's any place in your body right now that you're holding, if there's any tension and just send the breath through your intention to that area. Relaxing that area like a wave flowing through your body. Just imagine on your next breath in that as you exhale out, every muscle is relaxing on that out breath. From your head to your toes. And if you'd like, as we do this, as you may know, some of you who are familiar with these meditations I do, you may want to connect in with some sort of loving guidance, an angel, a spirit guide, an ancestor, ascended master, maybe God, source energy itself. Just connecting in with something higher, something loving to help you in this experience. Archangels are especially powerful. Archangel Michael in particular can help with really clearing away heavy stuff. So if you'd like to call upon any divine being such as Archangel Michael, you can do that now asking for this divine presence to be with you, to assist you in this experience. And as you breathe, taking a moment just to <clears throat> dial in, like you're turning the knob to find the right station on a radio, on a fuzzy AM radio. Dial in to what's going on in your body. Or maybe you imagine you're shining a flashlight inside your body and you're looking for debris, you're looking for gunk, for excess stuff that's been buried, maybe like dust or something that doesn't really belong in your body. And see if you can just catch a glimpse of it, just like your flashlight just catches something in the light or even, even in your own breath, you feel a, a place that's, there's a little blip. There's an area of stuckness, of stagnation that you become aware of. Just bring your awareness to that area. Notice where it is in your body, just taking a moment just to take stock, to feel where this 
misalignment is. And what emotion seems to be present? Taking a moment, asking yourself, what is here? What's this heavy emotion? Maybe it's a feeling, maybe you pick up on a word, maybe it's just a vibration or an image, just taking a moment just to connect in. Remember, this is safe. This is for your highest good to do this. And if you can name that emotion, just imagine you're spelling it, you're labeling it, spelling it out. In that area, maybe there's a shape that's taking form. First thing that comes to your mind, is there a shape? Is there a color? How big is this stuck thing? Does it seem to be moving around or spreading or is it more localized in one place? Does it have a temperature or a vibration? Continuing to breathe, allowing your breath to guide you. This is safe. This is for my highest good. I'm even going deeper, like you're digging in now. You're beginning to pull on a string or you're beginning to excavate what's in here. What is this emotion connected to? What's just, what seems to be linked to this feeling you've uncovered? If you don't get an answer, just trust that there that it will come. Just trust the feeling, or maybe there's something that just pops into your mind. If you've connected with a divine being, you can ask them to help you understand what this is connected to. And then maybe even asking, how can I release some of this? How can I let some of this go? Asking your higher self, your divine guide, your angel. What do you notice as you ask that question? How can this be released? How can I let some of this go? How might I start doing that? And if you get an answer, see yourself doing this action. Now bring this into your waking life. See yourself making that happen even tomorrow or soon after you're listening to this right now. Imagine yourself doing that. What would it feel like? What would it be like? How would you feel after having done it? Take a moment and just visualize or feel into that action becoming reality.
Now even asking, how can I release some of this now? And maybe you feel it happening or just allow it to happen. How can this be released? Maybe you imagine light is flowing into your body, like washing that emotion away, pushing it out as it's being drawn out of your body, pulled out, sucked out somehow, totally removed or at least partially removed. We'll take whatever we can get here. Just imagining light beginning to flow in, transmuting, alchemizing that negative feeling Letting it be released out of your body and bringing in light and unconditional love to replace what was there. And imagine that old energy moving into the earth where the earth can absorb it and compost it, turn it back into love. And maybe it goes somewhere else, but just imagine it's all being disposed of in the highest way. Allowing that light to take up more and more space in your body, spilling out through your hands and feet, Opening your heart, just feeling your light body, though, activating and opening even more. You may even want to just take out, open your arms, physically take your arms and open them. Just feel yourself receiving this light. Smile, feel so good. Like being under a beautiful waterfall, just so cleansing. You can even look up, hold out your hands, your palms up, just feeling this cleansing. Deep breath in, slow exhale out, just really allowing this, receiving this light. Giving thanks. It's always nice to do that. You can bring your hands in prayer position to your heart center, fold them over your heart, just leave them in your lap, just giving thanks for this light, giving thanks for this beautiful healing. Thank you for allowing me to release what doesn't belong. Thank you for bringing light in. Thank you for this healing. Silently repeating some of those words in your mind. And then when you're ready, you can take a deep breath in, slow breath out. I'm just going to seal it in by hugging myself. You could just put either hand on either shoulder and your arms, just rubbing your arms. It's called havening, just sealing it in. And then whenever you're ready, you can stretch out if you haven't already and open your eyes. So I hope that was helpful. It's always interesting um, when I do these meditations, who kind of comes in. Of course, I wasn't surprised that Archangel Michael would show up because his energy is so cleansing and healing. Um, if anybody, I know some of you are here on Zoom and some of you are on Facebook. If anybody wants to share who you felt with you, I'm always curious to hear um, if there's any sort of divine being who is there. And, you know, everybody has different ways of connecting in. And this was really just a short meditation as you 
can, as you know. Um, so if you didn't get words about, you know, the source of the emotion or how to release it, don't worry, right? Because that's, that will come. It can come. I even asked for it to come. Maybe it'll come in a dream. Maybe it'll come tomorrow. Um, often some, you know, the more we do this sort of altered state of consciousness work, the more you meditate, the more you open your third eye, it will start to come in more quickly and you'll start to connect in with divine guidance more quickly. Archangel Michael, I love that, Amy, beautiful. Um, and even if you didn't get, you know, sort of that information about what it was connected to or how to remove it, um, you could listen to this again. You know, I'll have this here on the, in the Souls Gathering Together page. I'm gonna put it on my YouTube channel, um, Rachel Horton White. Eventually, I'll put it as a meditation on my uh, Courageous Path podcast on SoundCloud and iTunes. But um, but just doing this on your own, too, is really, really important. And, and even during you know the day, just when you're triggered by something, if you get triggered by something and you feel an emotion coming up, just take a moment and, and notice it and just become aware of where it is. And, and, and it doesn't even have to take a long time, right? You can just allow it to allow yourself to feel it. And then, and if that's all, if you just are able to identify the emotion, that's all, that's actually still good because you're still taking it out just by identifying it. It begins to um, lose its power over us and we begin to separate from it. It can kind of shrink it down to become something that feels more manageable rather than this big, all consuming thing. Um, even better, of course, would be to kind of bring in some divine light to like help clear it out and release it from your body like we just did. Um, but just taking a moment just to be like, what am I feeling? I am feeling anger. I'm feeling sadness, not I'm angry all the time. Like I'm an angry person or I'm a sad person or I'm a depressed person, right? If you haven't heard me say this before, delete anything that says my anxiety or my depression or my trauma from your vocabulary because you do not want to carry that stuff with you all the time the more we can shrink it down i'm feeling you know anxious feelings or i i um i've had you know difficult things happen to me in the past you know that it starts to take its power away so often what happens is we we give these things these emotions these experiences not to say that they aren't real or they aren't significant, but we can sometimes give them more power than they deserve or need. And then they start to become things that feel like they're consuming us. And when really that's not all that we are, right? So, so um, I hope this was helpful in some way. And, uh, you know, taking the time just to connect inward in the summer months is really important just to kind of keep our center, to keep aligned, to keep balanced. Um, so I'm, I was seeing myself in this meditation, just taking the time every, making sure every morning, even just for a few minutes that I'm sitting down, like right after I get up to set the tone for the day, um, which makes me much more pleasant to be around, <laughs> especially when it comes to being with my kids a lot, which I am a lot more in the summer, which is great. I love them. But, you know, sometimes, especially with this heat there, there gets to be a little bit of irritability on all of our parts. Right. But anyway. So, um, yeah, well, that's all I got for you this evening. Let's see if anybody's in Maine and you want to come experience some really cool earth healing energy along with this, um, scalar energy called the EE system. I'm doing a workshop this Sunday, um, evening in Georgetown, Maine, this beautiful place called God's Cove healing. My friend Meg poor has these, it's a really cool thing called the EE system, which is, um, basically, uh, free energy that Nikola Tesla invented. It's very similar, and it's it's cellular. It really activates and helps us heal at a cellular level. So we're going to be connecting with the earth, and then spending an hour in the east system, which is basically it's just a room when we meditate, and it's really interesting. There's still a few spots left for that. Um, hypnotherapy certification program. If you want to learn how to become a hypnotherapist, a certified hypnotherapist, and the spirit guided approach that I do. I'm teaching a program that starts in September. The early bird rate goes for a few more weeks. It's a nine month program. It's an intensive thing. Let me know if you're interested. Um, otherwise, there'll be a few other things um, I'll be doing soon and all about you know some free workshops and um, a retreat in 
October. So stay tuned for that. And of course, if you're looking for support individually, hypnotherapy, Akashic Records readings, I always love doing that and supporting people. Okay. Many blessings. Much love. Bye.